Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We've got four spirits, Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is an awesome, awesome pack. Great way to pay homage to the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. As well as some, you know, great figures, some great updates. Um, an update to Yoda, new Anakin, Obi-Wan, maybe some slight tweaks, not sure. Um, but just a, just a huge huge package to be honest um there's some other little figures there there's definitely a nice nod to the old vintage of yesteryear nice image there of the three four spirits i know there are a lot of people that would rather have seen the sebastian shaw um head which you know personally i think you know it's it's at that point now where you could just include both and it's fine um you know seeing hayden is canonical um that that's that is canon, um, but my my thoughts always been like age him up a little bit so that you can have to sort of have the best of both worlds, um, you know, make him look like he's in his forties, um, representative of the time he passed, the end of Return of the Jedi. But that's neither here or there. It's uh, each to each to everyone and their own opinions. Um, but yeah, it does say on the back here, commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi with figures from the Black Series and featuring classic design and packaging. And we've definitely got that here. We've got a nice image on the side. Do love the sort of wooden sticks they've put together here. Um, shout out to uh, Landspeed Luke, who has done a fantastic 3D print in order to display them on something similar. And I feel like it does say somewhere on the box that the uh, display is, isn't, is uh, you know, included, which is obvious, but um, yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere on the box, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna comb over the fine print during the video, so it's all good. So we're gonna crack this one open and get a look at the individually carded figures. Um, and then we'll crack into the figures themselves and uh, have a good look. So again, this is something of packaging I'm probably going to maybe keep just for the image on the back. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it if I'm, if I'm keeping the uh, keeping the figures open. Like it's probably not much point in keeping the out of box. And then Anakin. You know, these three together, you know, make a fantastic display. And come on unpunched cards, which is very nice. Not that that really matters for Black Series collectors. That's a that's a TVC sort of thing. But it's a nice nod. Um, nice that they've done it too. So they will pop out, but... So I'd love to... I'd, honestly, I'd love to see this on a vintage collection card. For Spirit of Anakin, I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really, really nice. From what I've seen, his most of his figure is new, including a head sculpt, which, you know, much needed update to the Black Series, uh, given that the Anakin is quite a few years old, the Re Revenge of the Sith Anakin with the longer hair. Um, so hopefully this head could see some reuse, but we'll get, some we'll get a closer look when we open him up. Yoda, Phil, that's a little bit silly. Um, <laughs> probably would have preferred him be centered or, you know, the bubble sort of down, but he is small. Um, even then, like an accessory of a log, like a, a log fence would have sort of thing for him to sit on would have been cool. Um, but either way, this is the newest sort of smaller size of Yoda, um, which is more accurate than the original release. Uh, we have seen Four Spirit Yoda. Um, he was, yeah, he's a little bit too tall. But that's okay. That doesn't matter too much. And then, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is a little bit more of an updated face, face paint tech on it. <laughs> Which I think they only did with the Kenner version. The sort of Kenner colours Obi-Wan. They haven't redone this figure at all um, over the years. So, But that one looks nice. 
It's not too diff too dissimilar to the one that we have that already exists. But um, yeah, I'm going to open these up off screen and uh, we'll come back and take a look. All right, guys, here's the three figures out of the packaging. I did manage to salvage the cards by slicing off the bubbles just with a knife. Um, so I'll find a way to display them. So we'll start with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Move the other two out of the way just for a little bit. So yeah, they're made with a combination of solid and translucent plastic, which is nice. Uh, this one is still using the original, original Obi-Wan Kenobi sculpt, which is fine. And again, we're using this sort of sheer, sheer fabric just to give off that sort of luminescent sort of vibe, which kind of works. It works for me. I think it looks good. Um, even like displaying them back there with the, the sort of blue glowy light shining behind them. It looks good. So yeah, definitely a, definitely a nice sort of update to the head sculpt. Well, not that the head sculpt's new, but the paint apps look nice. Um, in comparison to the older version of Obi-Wan. So all sort of standard articulation for him. Move him out of the way. We'll take a look at Yoda. So he's looking good. Again, sort of translucent plastic here. On the le well, lower legs at least. And the hands. And lower arms. Interesting, he gets a sort of gold robe, which is interesting because it's, you know, it's, it is a little bit different, but they've gone with the, the blue plastic, but I guess these two wearing darker robes, I guess it sort of mimics that, whereas Yoda wasn't wearing so dark a robe, he was sort of a little bit lighter, whereas his under, under robes were a little bit, um, his undergarments were sort of a darker colour, so that kind of makes sense. But he does get to keep his accessories even after even after becoming one with the force. Just to keep his belt, his cane, and his little his little flute thing, whatever it's called. The Yoda's harmonica. Again, same as the Obi-Wan, that's nice sort of pearlescent look over the over the face, which is some good lighting that would reflect reflect nicely. But yeah, he's definitely definitely more to scale. Than the original, which I don't have on me at, at hand at the moment, but but yeah, he looks good. Really like Yoda. Love Yoda. Always, always have. Now, last but not least, the new newest figure from the uh, pack, Anakin Skywalker. Now, I think that's a fantastic head sculpt. Um, as I stated before, I think it would look good on a uh, updated Anakin Skywalker. But um, I don't know. This the face is almost like. A little too sort of stoic friendly looking. <laughs> yeah, maybe it would work. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that would work on a new Anakin? Episode 3. Yeah, it's a good likeness, really good likeness. Again, sort of a new a new head sculpt on the neck. This upper torso is is new, at least on the sort of softer outer part. The bottom robe, plastic robe, seems to be the same as Obi Wan. And I dare say the legs are pretty much the same as well. Not picking, they might be the same as Mace Windu's legs. So they've gone with some reused parts to put this figure together, and that's fine. But again, sort of translucent plastic, which works well. The translucent robe, that sort of sheer, sheer fabric again. I recently read the book um, Shadows of the Sith, which is sort of set prior to the events of the sequel trilogy and um, Luke finds himself in a spot of bother and he is saved by the, the spirit of Anakin Skywalker is able to conjure up a lightsaber oh, it's, it's such a great moment in the book that's an awesome moment to see Luke you know being able to witness the spirit of Anakin come back to, to assist him for just a brief moment Reunited Master and Apprentice. 
I still, uh, yeah, I still think aging up the Force Spirit of Anakin so that he is the, uh, he appears as the age of when he passed. I think that makes a little bit more sense to me, but I'll take, I'll take it. You know, it's good. These three together, fantastic figures. Really looking forward to displaying them. Definitely want to try and get a hold of uh, Landspeed Luke's sort of files um, in order to get a print done. I don't have a 3D printer anymore, but I know people that do. But yeah, really, really impressed with the Anakin. I think it looks fantastic. Just seeing all, th all three sort of standing together. It's really nice. Great pack. That's, a, that's what I call a good exclusive. You know, not essential to anyone's collection, but great nonetheless. Great addition to anyone who wants, you know, the full set. We do have Four Spirit Qui-Gon coming out later this year, if not next year. I think it might be later this year. His appearance in uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that'll be, that'll be kind of cool to see what they do with that. I imagine it's going to be very similar to this using the Episode 1 Qui-Gon. A little pearlescent look to the, to the skin and, and, and features and... Yeah, I'm digging it. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. Love to see what you guys think of these three figures. I'd, yeah, I just really, really dig them. They're, that's a nice trio. Just, I just, yeah, really, really happy with the Anakin. I think he looks fantastic. I'm, I'm holding Yoda because if I put him down, he doesn't go in the video anymore. <laughs> I think, yeah, this would make for a good good group photo, I think. Say cheese. <laughs> yeah, beautiful moment in Return of the Jedi captured here. In action figure form, Black Series. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you on the next one very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.